And like Rick said to me, be, you got to learn to have discipline over your mind. Mm. Your higher self is that part of you that knows right or wrong, that knows before you analyze anything. Mm-hmm. It's that part of you that, that witnesses you. It witnesses you, basically. It's kind of like the witness that lives within us. Mm-hmm. And we're, when we're sitting there trying to beat ourselves up, it's that part says, you don't need to feel this way. This is, this is not how you need to be. All right? It's that part of us that, that tries to help us not get lost in the fog. Mm. All right? And so what I do many times when I go, oh, great, I have so many memories of this happening and causing this to do it. So I'm not going to allow that. So I say, you know what? Shut up, mine. I'm going to go do something different and <laughs> occupy you with something else. Because what happens is this. Imagine this. They did a movie on this once that was called Something from Heaven. And it was hysterical. And this is so true. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about Sedona. Zip. I'm on the other side. I'm there. Okay, I'm thinking about my father. Zip, I'm where he is. Zip, 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 zip. Right. Your thoughts are heard by everybody. Rick wanted me to know that. He said, the reason you want to learn to monitor your mind, Mom, is that everybody hears your thoughts so you can't judge. Um, really good to get in the, uh, in the habit of not judging others. You know, really good to get in the habit of, of being still in the mind. Mm-hmm. so that you're not yanked around when you first get here. Yeah. Because you're going to be, you know, tossing yourself all over the place till you learn how to control your mind a little bit. And most people don't spend a lot of time doing that here. Yeah, they don't. They really don't. I didn't, I mean, you do, these concepts are fairly new to me in the past couple of years. Like before that, I didn't even question it. Mind was everything, you know. Your thoughts are, you know, as far as I knew, like, that's all there is You're to life. You were taught that in school, darling. You were taught that in school. Mm-hmm. If, if when you were a child, and I've watched Waldorf does this, I love this about Waldorf school. They're not really good at helping people with their intellect, but they're wonderful at spending 50% of the school day out of, out of doors exploring nature mm-hmm. and, and, and doing things as they're ready to do them, not because they have to do them. And they tell people that it's, they don't, first of all, TV doesn't play out in water schools. Um, they tell people that experiencing life is why they're here and that they have a physical body, they have an emotional body, and they have a mental body, and they need to feed all of those things. Wow. And so they don't just feed the mind's growth. All right? They feed harmony amongst the students, games to play, artistic endeavors, mm-hmm. dance, all right, all forms of expression, musical instruments. Um, they try to make the students more rounded. I do, the public schools are a little upset because they aren't that focused on the educational process. Right. They're more focused on a whole person. And so some of those kids don't read till they're older. And if they leave that school, they got to go backwards to go forward, you know, in, in actual reading and writing and arithmetic. Sure. Uh, Although they're not I mean, teaching writing, right, they're not teaching writing anymore. I have to print for some of these kids because they can't read handwriting. Hmm. They stopped teaching it. That's interesting. Isn't that amazing? Just, just because I guess technology. Because of computers, yeah. Yeah. because of technology, they think it's a waste of time to teach. Pretty soon, they said they may stop teaching forms of math because of computers. Hmm. I, I think that's dangerous. Yeah, I don't Take that know. technology away. I mean, that's really... But anyway, going I mean, back to all this. Yeah. yeah. Giving, <laughs> giving people a, a choice would be one thing, but like not teaching it at all seems kind of... Mm-hmm. 